So obviously, President Trump paid homage to veterans last night in some pretty wonderful ways. Democrats were busy walking out on all of that. Joining us on the line to discuss what can be done for veterans, how we can help veterans, is Tom Satterley, highly decorated combat veteran who's portrayed in the Oscar-winning 2001 film Black Hawk Down. He has a brand new book, All Secure, A Special Operations Soldiers Fight to Survive on the Battlefield and the Home Front. He is helping fight the battle against PTSD for other veterans through the All Secure Foundation. Tom, thanks so much for joining the show. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. It's an honor to be on your show. So why don't we talk a little bit about the the president's State of the Union address, just in terms of the sort of homage that he played that he paid to veterans last night. What what did you think of that? I thought it was amazing and respectful, and that he reached out in a lot of different areas and thanked a lot of different people for what they're doing. Um, I mean, there's no other thing to do but thank the veterans for the service that they're providing for this country. Well, OK, Tom, let's talk about how we can help the veterans, because obviously, you know, President Trump paying homage, it, it all feels good. We get tears in our eyes when we see military families reunited. But as you point out in your book, All Secure, the fact is that that is just the beginning of the readjustment that happens when you when you come home. And we've been seeing all over Twitter people pointing out how difficult it is for a lot of soldiers to come home. What is that experience like for, for those of us who haven't made the sacrifice of serving in the military? What's it like to come home after spending time in a combat zone? It's a, it's a difficult integration back home because you end up thinking that you miss combat. You think you end up missing the military. But really what you miss is that tribe feeling, that feeling of being around a group of like-minded individuals that think toward a common goal. Much like you mentioned in your book, you're, you, just yourself, about how we become a society where a tribe takes care of itself and people feel important. Yet right now I feel like we're a bunch of individuals living near each other, yet not fully together, if, if that makes sense. So what, is, what are the best ways that we can help out people who are, who are coming home? Because other than just saying thank you to people who have served, you know, it, it feels like there's not much we can do to help out people who have come home and now are trying to readjust to civilian life. So using the All Secure Foundation, you try to help out members of the military who are coming back. What can we do? Uh, we, I think helping veterans and their spouses is what's really important because we build a bigger foundation. Um, any type of donation towards a foundation that helps that you research that, that you know your money is going towards veterans to help them actually versus, you know, the overhead cost of these foundations that get so large. But knowing that veterans want to reintegrate back into society and knowing that on the surface they seem angry and aggressive, just like I did for many years than my own wife, but understanding that that's coming from a place from biological change in your body from all the uh, combat action that you've seen, that your mind perceives everything to be a threat. So, you just need to retrain. And so we need patience with these veterans while we retrain them and, and, and not give them things, obviously. We, don't, we, we teach a man to fish and give a man a fish kind of theory. So we teach them how to reintegrate and how to get better and to break that muscle memory that has developed over years of combat and military training. I, well, I love what you're doing. I think it's really necessary for people to understand what it's like to suffer with a mental condition. When we talk about treating mental conditions, when we talk about dealing with folks who have conditions like PTSD, the way that it's portrayed in the media, that everybody with PTSD is on the verge of snapping and going, you know, sort of full Sylvester Stallone in Rambo, that that obviously isn't true. What is it like to deal with PTSD on, on a regular day to day basis? I think it's less less the Rambo freak out and more of the recluse into your own room, the feeling of of not being secure, not being welcomed back home. And, it, and it's not the Vietnam era where people are spitting on you and calling everybody baby killers, but it is a personal feeling that we don't belong. We're not good enough. And warriors either fix problems or take problems out. And that, that seems to become the problem when they are afraid to reach out. Civilians feel like they can't talk to veterans. And then that veteran feels even more recluse and alone. And then they either they try to fix themselves and they fail. And, and after a couple of attempts, they end up just removing the problem and taking themselves out, which is which is a horrible statistic in our society today. Well, the book is All Secure, a special operation soldiers fight to survive on the battlefield and the home front. The author is Tom Satterley. Again, Tom, how can we help out the All Secure Foundation? Where should we go to give? You could go to allsecurefoundation.org. We have resources on there. We have a... a a line that you can pipe in with, with information and help. And we have a donation line as well. Um, you can buy the book for people there because the book takes you through how I got to where I was and then also how I climbed back out of that hole with the help of my spouse. So it's a lot of, of healing and self-help information in the book as well. And, and we get a lot of how can I help, we want to help. Really what we need to know is how can people help. Everyone has a responsibility. So we ask people, what is your response to your ability to help? Some it's financial, some it's through acts of love, some it's just 
reaching out and talking to people on a daily basis to check on their status. Well, really appreciate all of your hard work, Tom Satterley. Go check out his book, All Secure, and check out the All Secure Foundation. Really appreciate what you've done for the country, sir, and thanks for what you continue to do. Thank you. I really appreciate that.